Hello, this is Mike from That 3D Printing Channel. Today we're going to be going through the part list and assembling the lift pod, a device that you can 3D print to hold electronics. Um, the, this is a pretty modular system. Today I'll be assembling the version that'll hold a cell phone, so that way you can either use it to read uh, while you're assembling something else, or if you're like me, to hold the phone while you are creating a video. This uh, particular uh, design was found on Thingiverse. Again, it's called LiftPod. I'll have that linked in the description below. I'll also have linked in the description um, a, a, an assembly video from the actual creator. The, I didn't care for it. He did a really good job on the video, much better than I'm sure this one turns out. But I do um, kind of want to put some stuff up front and what you actually have to print because I really didn't uh, understand that until I went and actually built this thing. When you go to the Lift Pod Thingiverse description, you'll be greeted with a picture of a rather, you know, like I think it's a four segment total piece uh, that, that you can build. But it's kind of difficult at least to understand what exactly you got to print. Uh, because even in some of the pictures that show what you need to print, those counts I found weren't right. So, I'm going to kind of quickly cover for the, the big print that will hold a cell phone when we're done, what exactly you need. So, we'll need the base. Uh, this can be actually attached to, uh, like say, a tripod. This is, this is threaded. I wouldn't actually use it as threaded, but it is threaded. Um, You'll need three of these, what are called printed bolts. You'll need three of these bolt sleeves. Um, one thing that is printed together are these four individual bolts. These will actually print as a set. You will need the um, first legs, the last legs, and then these are the two extender legs. There are two different types, actually. You'll see one type has the um, lock washer grips on both sides, and then the other side has an inset with the uh, the hex cut out so that it will feed onto this bolt. The uh, The next piece that you'll need, um, the pieces you'll need are the uh, actual clamp at the top, which is this these two parts. Um, as part of the clamp, you'll have to print this, this printed bolt, a nut and capture device for that bolt. Um, then you'll need all the nuts to secure the uh, actual uh, these bolts together so that you can uh, lift and collapse that, that mechanism. The final piece right here is the cell phone holders. Um, this, this is a, a, a clamp mechanism with its own bolt, nut, and capture device for all that. And we'll touch on how that's all assembled. Um, <clears throat> the first thing we're going to assemble is the actual cell phone holding thing. It uh, has to be assembled in a, in a specific order. And if you, you can kind of get this out of whack pretty easily. Um, so let me go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, this could be the most frustrating piece. Uh, these two parts right here make the holder. You'll see that they have a, a beveled edge that inserts in here. They should slide freely. We have a nut. And what we'll do is see we line it up for this insertion point And place this guy in there. And oops. You want to do a quick test fit and make sure that it will move freely. It should be a little bit of resistance, but not much. Next, what we'll do, and this is where you can mess up the ordering, we're going to take this thing, and it slides and locks in right here. And what we'll do is then take our long bolt, put that through, kind of, we're going to pull it forward up till it point hits that nut. And I'm going to want to pull this apart so that this piece goes all the way in. Keep pulling that apart. And see if we can thread this in. Come on. Thread. Thread. And we're getting it. Okay. So now it's fully seated in there. We'll take our lock piece. Thread that in. The tool. And there we go. Now we have this is all set up. And you can see it will thread in, and that's how we can tighten the phone. 
That, like I said, is the more difficult of all of these pieces. We're going to continue down from the top, from our cell phone holder, to the top clip, the top base. The um, This is the, the mechanism that everything, all of the attachment pieces attaches to. Um, the uh, You can see they can only go one way together. So this slides in like this. A nut goes in here. And that needs to be placed in before we can slide this on. Quick note about these nuts and the bolts that are printed. Yeah, they're, they're, the red here is PLA, uh, the black is PETG. Uh, you're, you're probably going to want to just print a couple of these just to have one around. Um, it doesn't take much to, you know, separate the layers on um, on a um, PLA print. But, you know, again, these shouldn't be really high torque areas anyhow. Uh, you could go ahead and replace these probably with some M5 hardware if you really needed to. Um, but, again, these print uh, as one file like this the bolt and the nut and that also goes the same for the, uh, the cell phone holder here uh, so you may have to slice that if, if you uh, have a piece that you know separates from the print and you need to print again but again it's also nice to have like a separate bolt or a separate nut just in case so the next thing we want to do is we're going to want to place that in there now if you remember back to the cell phone uh, we had to thread this bolt and the nut and the capture device in a certain order. This one, it only slightly matters. Um, we're going to take this here, and this flange is captured in this piece here. We can push our bolt through, put the capture piece in, tighten it up. So there we go. Now we can take this, Slide it on, and that will thread in, and there we go. So this has a tongue and groove on it right here, and this is the uh, the GoPro mount. Um, so if you wanted to just put this on here and then have the GoPro, uh, you know, the GoPro has the mount and it'll adapt right in. Uh, the nice thing is, so we see we separate this out, put our, our piece in there, tighten it down. doesn't take a lot of force. And there we go. We have an, actually a really nice solid mount for that. Now we can take our cell phone holder and place that on there. And they do recommend you use an M5 bolt and nut for this. And place that in either side. And you're ready to go. Uh, and then the top piece is assembled. All right. Now we're ready to assemble from the base going on up to our top portion. This can be a little tricky, especially the first time you've done it. Done it. It's kind of difficult to know which order these uh, legs go in. The first one we're going to start off is with the smaller one. It has a hex inset on one side and then the lock washing style on the other side. Now, the way this goes on here is going to be pretty you know, intuitive. You'll take one of these bolts. Uh, again, these are there are four of them that come together uh, in a single STL that you'll print. You might end up printing extras like I have. If, say, one or two of those bolts decide that they're going to lift from the print bed. And anything that has a hex end is going to be wanted to seat in on, on any of these legs. Just remember that later. You'll need 10 of the locking washers. And one thing to note with these is that locking washers always interface either between two legs or the leg and a base. You'll never have a locking washer up against a, a nut. So that goes through, come on, like that. And we can now put our threaded nut on there. You'll need quite a few of these guys. You'll need, um, I believe, 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yes, and 10. Again, doesn't help to have a couple extras too. Um, now, when we go to assemble the next part, you'll see that the base on this leg doesn't have a hex insert. Well, that's because what we want to do is use the second extension section here. And you know it's second extension section is because it has two hex pieces on it. And this will go on here. And you're going to want to put both on at the same time right now because you're going to want them aligned. You don't want it to be like a, a point off. Like, obviously, that's not going to work. So you want them like that. And we're just going to slide this through. But... 
we need a washer in here before we do that. Again, the, the, the lock washers go in between these pieces right here. So before we go ahead and put that nut on, let's grab our other base leg. Remember the nut side, we're gonna to wanna to put that bolt through. So that's gonna face in. So grab another washer. We'll put that in here. Put the leg in. Now this one will rotate freely and we're right there. So we'll rotate that out of the way. Take a bolt and a washer and we'll drop this in between. There we go, we can add our second nut. All right, there we go. And now we have our second area set. We can go ahead and put our other two nuts. This area is done right here. So, but before we do that, we need to insert our, our next, um, next piece here. So again, these have the hex on the inside. We're going to want to go and uh, put those in. And there we go. That's why we didn't want to cinch that all the way down. So there we go. So the hex sides go in. We'll have two washers. All right. Now we can put this one in here and kind of clamp it down. And we go on to the set, second set of extension legs. And you'll know the second set of extension legs because they won't have hex inserts on them at all. So these um, are, again, able to move freely. So we'll set those right there just for a moment. We're going to take our last bolt, put its sleeve on, and put that... Um, not put that through yet. Again, remember the hex ends have to go together. This is the last, uh, the last legs that actually attach to the top part here. So we'll put those on first to capture that sleeve in the middle. We'll put our washers in between, and we'll insert that right here. And there, this is again why I wanted to make this video is because if you get these orderings odd, it can make your life difficult when you're assembling this. So, put that there, lock that tight for a moment. And this actually is ready to go as well. But we're not going to tighten it on too tight just yet because again, we have to insert some bolts at the top up here to um, to hold the top piece on. So here is our base. This is again another critical section. You could put it on like this but you'd be upside down. You want to make sure, and this is why I'm kind of doing this in a collapsed fashion, you want to put this piece together like that. So we're going to take our bolts and oh look at that. Again one of those things where you don't want to jump ahead. You cannot put that piece in there with it together. So we're going to take this, thread it through. This piece requires a washer here that will go through into there. And then we'll take another bolt, thread it, or not thread it, but pass it through with the washer. If I can hold on to said washer and push it through, those seat in nice like that. Let's go ahead and just thread these on here so that we don't have things going all cattywampus. All right, we'll put this piece back. And this piece goes right in there like that. Let's tighten up these nuts. Hold that in place. Take our cell phone piece. Put our five millimeter hex bolt through. A five millimeter nut. Trusty hex driver. And there you go. We have a 
lift pod fully assembled with the cell phone holder we can pull it up tighten it so it won't collapse using those lock washings washers sorry and there you go now you can uh, put together um, your phone in here take whatever videos um, there's tablet mounts uh, you can use it as a direct GoPro uh, a bunch of different mounts for this it's a very very cool design like i said i'll link to it in the description um i'm already using a variant of this that is attached to uh, a joist above my head that's holding my phone right now for this video and uh, it's uh it's a great it's a great design so thank you for watching um thank you for putting up with my poor editing over the last videos hopefully i'll get better at that soon um you know leave any comments uh thoughts and suggestions Thank you very much. Bye-bye.